Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be looking at an example on finding gauge pressure. In this particular example, uh, density of the fluid that we are considering is not a constant. So we have been asked to find an expression for the gauge pressure of a column of compressible air in the atmosphere. Keyword here is compressible, since it's compressible, rho changes with height. We're told to assume that the temperature is constant and that the ideal gas law is satisfied and the pressure at the surface is P0. So this is the column of air that we're considering at the surface, at the Earth's surface, where Z equals 0, P equals PO. Z goes from the surface up and we're going to say that the, the height of the column is some constant H. So since the air is compressible and rho is thus not constant, we can't use the hydrostatics pressure formula, which we looked at in a previous video, which we derived as PO plus rho GH. We can't use that because that is, we, we integrated that from a formula that assumed that rho was a constant. So we got that from this formula here and we assume that rho is constant but in this case rho isn't constant so we have to come back to this um, derivative and reintegrate it, reintegrate it considering rho as a variable. So we've been told to um, we've been told that the fluid obeys the ideal gas law so we're going to actually use that um, to derive the formula we need. So P equals rho RT is the ideal gas law. We rewrite that in terms of rho. So we have rho equals P on RT. We sub that back into this first equation and we'll have everything we need. DP on DZ equals negative PG on RT. So we know that in this case, since P is a variable, R and T are constants, uh, rho will also be a variable because as P varies, rho varies. So that's why we can just sub it in. Um, and we've treated rho as a variable. We can then integrate. Integrating both sides, we get... Actually, first I will rearrange it. So I'll have dp on p equals negative g.